everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited to be bringing you all a Primark haul. It has been so long since I've been to Primark, like, I think it was like spring time last time I went, because I was getting stuff for my holiday, but I remember it also wasn't too long after my birthday that I went, so it was definitely like April, May time, the last time I went to Primark. But I was nearby one the other day, so I popped in because I wanted to update my autumn winter wardrobe because it's getting so cold and I wanted to get some new bits and I did so now I'm going to share them all with you because what is better than a Primark haul? Not a lot. So firstly I got two of the same jumper. They are these like ribbed, they're so soft, ribbed little polar neck, high neck, I don't really know what this neckline's called, um, jumpers. And these are six pounds. It's crazy. I really rate Primark knitwear. Um, I do think it does last multiple winters. Like this jumper I have on today, I've had this, I think I got this my first year of uni, so this is like its fourth winter. And it's going pretty strong. Like it's getting a little, like a tiny bit wobbly but nothing like awful and it's still going strong and I think the reason um, I get so much wear out of my product jumpers is because I don't wash them after every wear and when I do wash them they go in a wool wash so yeah that's what I do and I don't tumble dry them they air dry so yes um, these are just super soft I have two of these I have a black and a cream of these jumpers from Boohoo but I wanted to get another black one because I feel like I'm going to wear the black one a ton, especially in the autumn, because I like that thinner jumper that's perfect for the autumn because it's warm. But you can still wear a vest under it if you want, like a vest top. And they tuck into things easily because they're not too bulky. They're just amazing. They're good for layering. They're a good layering jumper. So I got the black, and I also got um, a grey one. So I now have two blacks, a grey and a cream. <laughs> These are definitely softer than the Boohoo ones, and these are cheaper than the Boohoo ones. These are only £6. That is crazy. And I love them. Um, I was tempted also to get, a, like, this. I actually couldn't see one. I wanted to look to see if they had, like, a blush pink one, but like I said, I couldn't see one. And actually, I'm glad I got grey instead, because I feel like I'm going to be able to wear the grey with more than the pink one. Like, if I did find a pink one. So yeah, I've got those two. They're on like the tables, those jumpers. And also from a table of jumpers, I got this jumper. This was £10. And this is definitely more. I would still wear this like, you know, from now. But it's definitely a cool winter jumper. It's this cream cable net. I don't know if you can see that cable net. Very long hair. That cable knit jumper it is chunky you will definitely be able to wear something under this but also it's not too chunky that you'd feel like way way too bulky in a coat because I I'd say I feel like I've probably said this before but in the winter I would rather be warm and cozy than look cute I'm all about comfort and warmth in the winter so loved this they had a few different colours but I loved the cream they had like a pink one but it was quite like a crazy pink like well not crazy but it just wasn't I don't know I would have only really been able to wear it with like a denim skirt whereas this I got a skirt it's going to go so nice with this I probably can wear it on Sunday I'm just really excited but I yeah loved this and 10 pounds can't go wrong they also had one that was like mustard and then I think the bottom was cream that would be really good I thought that would be just cute with like jeans but I don't wear jeans Yeah, I was going to get that, but I already have two mustard jumpers, so I just, I didn't, I refrained. I got this from the sale. Um, this was £5 reduced from 10 so I couldn't not. It is a suede, um, just like a little pinnacle dress. It has pockets. Just a basic, lightweight pinnacle dress. Again, good layering piece. I can wear it with that grey jumper or the cream one I have, and tights and a coat or a jacket or something and it'll be a good little outfit because I do have a pink suede pinnacle dress from Primark 
but it's more like a baby pink, like a blush baby pink. This is more like a rosy pink that I feel like goes better with tights. So it was five pound, and you know when you're just in that Primark bubble and you just buy things. I tried to be restrained. And I got two skirts, and both of these I got in size ten. Now the three jumps I got were extra smalls. The pinnacle dress was an eight. Um, but these skirts I anyway, got them both in a ten. Primark is definitely one of those shops you have to try things on um, because their sizing is crazy. Um, I have a couple of skirts from Primark in eight that I can wear jumpers tucked into, and they're fine. But both of these just came up small and yeah they just they came up small so and I wanted to wear them with that cream jumper so I was like I would rather get them big and only be able to wear them with chunky jumpers because I'm like a solid eight um but yeah I was like I want to be able to wear them with chunky jumpers and not to worry so I got tens so the first one I got is it kind I feel like it kind of looks ugly on its own, but with that cream jumper, it's super cute. It is this brown corduroy button down skirt. Um, it has pockets. It is not the softest corduroy. They say it's tan. This is not tan, this is brown. Um, kind of like an A-line, just basic Primark shaped skirt. And then the other skirt I got was this denim skirt. I do have a denim skirt from Primark. And the, more the eight in this was... So I tried on eight in both of these. The eight in this was way smaller than the eight in this. Um, and I think even the tens in these are different sizes. Yeah, they are. So these are both size ten. They're both high waisted, but I can you see the brown one's bigger? So like this way you have to try things on. Um yeah. So got this just because denim doesn't like this has no give to it. And also I find the denim skirt I currently have, I can tuck things into it because it's probably this size waist. I got it a few years ago, but it's definitely shrunk like ways. Like it's it's a nightmare. So I got a new one. And yeah, they were both eight pounds, which can't go wrong. And then the last clothing piece I got you, it'd probably be quite difficult to show you it because it is a coat. But it is and it's undone. But it is this black just a basic kind of mid thigh black smart coat. It has a zip um, up the middle and this black fur collar that is removable. Um, I got this in a size 10 because it was, there was like three of these last day at a 10 or like size 16 but if I'm wearing a jumper under this anyway like it's fine. Um, I like to wear size up in my coats anyway. So yeah it's just a nice black coat. I don't know how well that showed but it's a coat, it's nice. It was £25, which is bargain for coats, for a coat. If you are like in need of a winter coat but you don't want to spend money, like a lot of money, look in Primark. Their coats are amazing, they are really affordable. Cause, like coats can be up like £60, I feel like it's the average price for a coat. New look coats aren't too badly priced and they're good quality as well but I just, I couldn't leave this and I was Moaning the other day, we'd gone bowling, me and my boyfriend, and I'd worn a leather skirt, tights, boots, and then one of those, like, high-neck jumpers, my boohoo one. And I put a vest on, because I knew I wouldn't be able to wear a jacket, because I don't, the only, like, autumn jackets I've got, I've got, like, a pink corduroy jacket, which wouldn't have gone, um, which is so warm and cosy. And I've got my leather jacket, but I didn't want to wear a leather jacket and a leather skirt. But I also didn't want to wear like my winter coat. Ow. So I thought this was like the perfect like autumn coat. Or even like in the winter when you're going out somewhere and you want to wear a coat but you want... I don't know. Because my coat's burgundy. 
and it's still nice it's, it's like the style but it's more like biker so the zips up the side and it's got a bigger fur collar i love my coats from new look i love it but so this is that but just like toned down and black I, so i do like this 25 pound hat to get it and then it would not be a trip to prime up for me without buying some shapewear tights medium 80 denier for three pound fifty some H2O micellar wipes for a pound. These under a pound, if you get them like normal makeup wipes that aren't the micellar ones, for 70p, but I like the micellar ones. And oval cosmetic pads for 90p, you get 100. Always pick it as when I go to Primark. I did also pick up, which I just feel like I didn't need to show you, some more period pants. Um, it's like the three pack for a pound, oh three pound, got some more of those. I got some accessories. Um, I picked up, I bought these last time I went, these skinny big gold hoops for £1.50. I needed to get some more because I had these on at work the other day and my one of my managers, she gave me a hug when I was leaving and I probably have mentioned before, every time I hug someone when I'm big, wearing big hoops, they get pulled. But I don't complain because I'm the one wearing massive hoops. They're gonna get pulled. But she like it got somehow caught in her hand or something and it like pulled like really badly and I yelped. And it really really hurt. And I took the earring out but it took ages to get the hoop out because it kind of like twisted. Um so I took it out and then I got home and realised my ear was it was bleeding. It wasn't ripped or anything. Um yeah, and it like was a few days before it stopped being like sensitive. My my manager felt really bad. Um, but I unmangled the hoops and wore them the next day. But the one that was like mangled, I couldn't fully unmangle it and it fell out and I lost it. So I needed to get some more. Very long winded story, but I got more of these. I just love a big hoop. One pound fifty. Um, these I absolutely love. These were the first things I saw when I went into Primark and they went straight into my basket. They're from the Stacey Solomon. I imagine it's like an edit. I think she just picks her favourite things. I don't think she designs them. I'm not sure I could be wrong. But they are these earrings. They are beautiful. They are like a pearl stud with them or hoops with pearls. This was £3. I love them. I thought I'm going to wear these so much. The autumn winter for like... I don't do things like dinners, but if I did, they're, they're just beautiful and like a red lip. Oh. And I was apparently feeling the pearls because I also got this necklace that I've seen on their Instagram. It's a gold chain with like gold balls on it. And then um, I got the R, so it's all the initials, and then it's got pearls on. I got an R because <laughs> I don't like getting O's as the initial because an O is just like a circle. And I feel like I'm something like this, some people might just don't think it's a circle. So I don't tend to get O's. The, I don't think they, ha I don't know if they had an L or the L was not nice. I wanted like a good letter because then you've got more of the big pearls. So I got an R. So my boyfriend's name is Rob. I've got an R. He'll laugh at me and say that I'm stupid, but I don't care. £1.50 as well. Like, what a lovely little gift that would be, like a stocking filler or just like a little extra gift for someone. I thought they were beautiful. And they had a lot of initial necklaces, a lot of different stuff I wanted. I love Primark necklaces. They always have a good choice. And then I got this little headband for three pounds. It's just a little black skinny one with pearls and diamantes, which again, I feel like I'm gonna wear a ton. I've been really into headbands lately. Um, I was so excited to look at, like, look at Primark's selection, but they honestly, I felt a little bit let down because they had just like the plain like twist tie ones or like notch ones whatever Alice bands but I have a black one and a new or a pinky one and a mustard one and they were kind of the only colours they had those and they had like different textures but I didn't need like a yellow like a mustard and a different texture I, I have one I'm good they had a leopard print one but I've already got a leopard print one they had like plaited ones but I didn't really like those I was looking more for their like embellished ones because I really wanted to get an embellished one but they were really expensive so I looked in Primark and 
I don't often, I don't know, I, I rarely comment on Primark's quality because I feel like their quality for the most part is really good. But these headbands just felt really bad quality and or some just were a bit too much so I just got this little skinny one with pearls. I really liked this one so I got that. And then I had a quick look at the beauty section but I just get a bit overwhelmed when I go in the Primark beauty section because there's just a lot and it's all close together and the testers are always like dirty and broken and just a mess and I just, it's a lot. So I only picked up one thing, it was that brow pencil in dark brown, I swatched it here for you. It seems like a pretty good shade for me, it feels like it's not too creamy but it's also not too dry. I'm excited to try this and it was a pound, I had to get it. Because I'm keep, I just, I love, oh, I got quite into trying different brow pencils and seeing which one I really liked. So I got that and then I picked up this perfume, this is P.S. Love Noir Eau de Toilette 50ml for £3.50. I bought this, I ha already have this in my collection, I bought this about three years ago, like around Valentine's Day 2017, so like two and a half years ago, almost three years ago. And I love it, um, but I bought it and I've probably got about a quarter of mine left, but I've never been able to find it again. And I like I hesitate to use it now because there's not a lot left and I love it. And I finally found it again. So this is what it looks like. It's obviously a mimicking of the Chanel Chance perfumes. I don't know why my lid is white because the one I have in my drawer, the lid is silver. I don't know, but it smells amazing. It's just like this sexy, beautiful scent. I cannot explain it, but if you're in Primark, smell this. And it's like, just a really nice evening scent. And it actually does cling quite well to woolens. Um, it is an eau de toilette, so it doesn't last like all night on your skin, but it does cling to clothes, I found. So, I really like it. So happy to find a new bottle because I do need to start working on my one, because although for the most part it has been kept like in the dark, it is starting to like, get a bit discoloured, so I do need to start working on that one, like getting it gone now that I've got it back up. But yes, it was a successful Primark trip. I'm so happy with everything that I got, and so excited to wear and use it all. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this Primark haul. If you enjoyed Primark hauls as much as I do, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye everyone.